I've kind of been putting off paperwork because it's been nice outside and I cannot get in an office when it's nice. But I finally went through all my data on those weaned lambs that Kristen came a couple weeks ago to help me weigh. So I did go through all those bottle babies just to come up with a few results to confirm and justify. There is so many flaws in here. Justify my purchase. A few things that came up, I had a quad that I pulled off and put on the machine. It ended up, ended up at 37 pounds. I left the three with mom. One died and two ended up being 24 and 39 and a half pounds. So this one was basically the same size as the big one that I left with mom. So that was a win. Uh, another one I pulled off, it was only 35 pounds and the twin I left on was 63 and a half. So there was another one just like that. The, the one I pulled off was 35 pounds, the one I left on was 63. Some wins I had, I pulled one off and it ended up being, it, it was a twin and it ended up being 47 pounds and the one I left on was only 30 and a half. So that was a, that was a 17 pound win almost. That sex tuplet, the, the one that had, I had a couple that had six. And the one, uh, because she had them so late and I had so many bottle, bottle babies already on that machine, I left them with their mom. She, now she laid on, laid on one of them when they were really little, but the other ones I left on mom, they did really crappy. Uh, but in the end, she still weaned 104 pounds worth of lamb. Now, some of them were like 12 pounds. Tw I think they ranged from 12 pounds to 20, seven pounds or something like that but she did raise five lambs but they're tiny they're like little they're like freaking guinea pigs over there if she had those earlier i would have put them on the machine i didn't know what to do i honestly thought maybe a few of them would die i can't believe she i can't believe they lived another quad 49 and a half pounds three left with mum now the three left were 39, 50.5, and 59.5. So that you did really well. There was another one where I wrote good mum. Here it is. I pulled these, this mum had quint, so she had five. I pulled one off, left four with her, but one died. The three that were left, she raised 48, 52, and 54.5 pounds of lamb. That's really actually quite phenomenal. The other set of six, I did pull one off. Uh, and it only did 25 pounds and it died a week after I weaned it. So that's irritating. Two of them died and the three that I left with her ended up only being 27 and a half, 31 and 34. So it goes to show you that the machine isn't ever gonna be as good as mom. But I tell ya, there were a few that were pretty damn close. Uh, some that did better than the ones that I left with mom. I definitely see some advantages to have it. I do have some results from that group after I wean them. It's looking like my average wean weight was in and around 48.6 pounds. The oldest one were eight weeks old. The youngest ones were probably like 12 days after that. Uh, but the majority, like the big lump of lambs, were always at the beginning of those two weeks. So I would say the oldest ones are eight weeks, and then the youngest majority of those lambs were like seven weeks. So I would say on average this uh, group was probably in and around that seven, seven and a bit weeks old. Yeah, so they weaned, weaned about 48.6 pounds, and that's 250 lambs that weaned. Some interesting results, I, I went through and figured out who the sires were on the lambs. I really assumed that the suffix would be my, my best weaning weights. Uh, they looked really good. The suffix were my best and they uh, averaged 50.3 pounds over 62 lambs. The Ile de France actually shocked me. They were only 46.8 pounds. I thought they would be bigger. Now granted, it's definitely the mum, right? Because the mums are milking them. I'm not blaming the sires on these and we'll see how they We'll see how they do after we wean them because that's when their growth characteristics should kick in when they're not relying on mum. But I was surprised my my Rito, my Rito sired lambs averaged 50.22 pounds. That blew me away because the Rito ram on a, a Rito crossed mum. Most of the ewes I kept back for replacements were composite based off Rito. So that's 50.22 pounds on 97 lambs. 
that blew me away. I just assumed the Ritos would be, would be not, not up there. And this is a take home message for you. I kept some homegrown Ram Lambs because I ran into some issues last year. I should do a vlog on that. I ran into some issues last year. So I kept some home Ram Lambs because I was desperate. I had no Ram power left at all. So I had a few left that I put in with, I can't even remember how many heat use I put them in, not very many. All they had, they had 27, 27 were born, but only 18 weaned. So it goes to show you they probably were crappy lambs and the average weaning weight off those home bred were 41.8. So you're dealing with a difference of, you know, so my top ones were 50 pounds and those ones were 41. So it goes to show you to spend the money on a good ram. I guarantee those home boys uh, just didn't produce a very good lamb. I think I ended up with about 1.8 weaned. I think if I look back to my previous vlog on the results of that lambing group, I believe I was around 2.2 born, I think. Or is that 2.2 alive? I think it was 2.2 born and then just over two alive um, after all the miscarriages and whatever. So that's pretty good for me, I'm not gonna lie. So now we just wait. Next week I will be running them through and pulling out any ewes that I want as replacements. But now I have some really good data that I can base my replacements off of. I'm going to try to keep as many that were sired by the Rido for my replacements. I wanna keep as many as I can from this group because if I could get most of my replacements off this March group, that would be perfect because I like breeding those March lambs in January. I don't didn't really wanna keep my Suffolk and Ile de France lambs back for replacements, but what I might do if they were if they were paired up with a Rito or a Steel Composite Cross, I will potentially keep those females because at least they're 50% of still what I want and I need I need replacements. So that is kind of the plan going forward. That is the updates, I guess for now. It's been busy. Been trying to get all those jobs done and out of the way so my full attention will be on lambing. It'll be starting up here. I would imagine next week I'll see some early birds. That's all for today. What day is it? That is Wednesday. 